Do you want to take your stream to the next level with this bad boy? It's completely controlled inside of OBS, meaning you can edit all the sources without needing to know how to code or anything. You just need to know how to use OBS. I'm going to walk you through installing it and troubleshooting steps if you have any issues at all. Did I mention it is completely free too? Let's get into it. Put your rock in for the stone. Heyo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Uh, there are a few important things I should mention. This product and the other stream up products only support OBS 28 and above. If you haven't upgraded yet, I'll leave a video up here and in the description on how you can upgrade without any issues. Trust me, it's easy. You will also need to have either Sammy or StreamerBot as these are the only tools we are supporting right now. It goes without saying, these should be all up to date too. Jump into our StreamUp website to download the product, hit download, then it will take you over to our coffee page. We would love it if you considered putting in a dollar or so as it will go a long way in supporting us making these incredible products for you. If you cannot afford a dollar, you can just put in a big fat zero in the box, then proceed to download the product for free. First thing we need to do is install everything in folder one. So we're gonna open that up and you'll see a Final Fantasy VII font. So double click into there and it'll open up in your web browser. In the top right, just press download and open the zip file. This bit's really important to get right. So when you've extracted it and you want to install, make sure you install the open type font file. Otherwise it will not work, okay? So this is the one that you want to install. So double click that and get it all installed. Next thing that you need to add is the StreamUp plug installer. So we're gonna double click that and we're gonna press download just here. This will take you to our coffee page. Please consider typing in a dollar, you know, send us a dollar because we do put a lot of effort into all these things and it'll help us keep making all this stuff as well as me making content full time to help you guys. So get that downloaded. If you need help installing using it, or oh, there is a video just there and that'll tell you exactly what to do. So never fear and all that jazz. So close that down and now we can open up OBS and have a little bit of fun. So inside of OBS, we're going to go to the top left and press tools, go down to stream up and we're going to navigate to the folder that we just downloaded, which is Final Fantasy 7 highlight message. And then I've got all the different versions. Don't worry about that. And we're going to open folder two, which is OBS install. And we're going to open the dot stream up file, double click, and that will create a new scene inside of OBS. When I go to that scene, you won't see much happening. But if I turn these little boxes on, you'll see it'll animate on screen just like so. So I'm gonna leave these turned on because we need to add this scene to other scenes. So if you want it on your just chatting or if you want it on your gaming scene, you can do that. We just head to whichever scene you want to add it to, press the plus sign on sources and go to scene. And then we can select the Final Fantasy VII highlight message and you'll see it's there. I can resize it, I can move it around the screen. It's completely up to me wherever I put it. If you don't want to add it as a scene, you could also add it as a source mirror or a source clone if you've got them plugins. So we just select one of those and just do it in exactly the same way. Choose the one that you want to clone. So I'm going to choose the Final Fantasy VII highlight message um, scene just like so and press OK. And it works exactly the same way, which is really nice. It just means that you can add effects onto it without affecting the original and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So now we just need to jump back to highlight message and I'm just going to turn it off for now because we don't want to see it on screen because we're going to animate it with Sammy. Installing it into Sammy is nice and easy. Make sure Sammy's all up to date and everything. Go to bridge on the left and press install an extension. Navigate to our folder, which I've got them all. It's just confusing. So we're going to go to folder three and press bot install. We're going to choose Sammy and open the .sef file. That's going to create a new deck in Sammy. We can double click into it. Don't worry about any missing images or anything. Uh, we're going to right click on main button and go to edit triggers and we're going to choose how we want this um, to, to kind of be triggered by the user. So I'm going to press the plus sign and I'm going to add it as a channel point redeem. It could be anything as long as it's got some sort of user input. So some sort of message that they can put. 
So I'm going to look on my redemptions. I actually have a highlight your message on screen, just like so. And I'm going to tick the user input required and leave it as a star and press save. Press save again. And that is genuinely all you need to do. And now if I go on to OBS and go down to my, uh, my troll points, so my channel points, do highlight message on screen. This is a test message like so. You'll see it'll say the user's name and type out the test message and then animate it off as well like so and it even handles larger messages as well as the box will change size installing this into streamerbot is nice and easy as well so we just need to go to our file manager and go to folder 3 bot install choose streamerbot and there's a .sb file in there in streamerbot go to import at the top and we're just going to drag and drop it into the import string if you can't do that for some reason just double click the sb file open it in notepad Control a to select all the text Control c to copy and you can just paste it directly in there that will do exactly the same thing it should add three actions a command and um, and also a queue press import and you'll see them all just there so we have got some settings that you can change which you don't need to worry about running. The, the way that we run them is in our um, command section, you'll see that it's created a chat command. We're just gonna right click and enable it. And the command is exclamation mark FF7 HM dash settings. So if I do exclamation mark FF7 HM dash settings, doesn't worry about capitalization. It's not gonna really do anything. But on my other screen just here, it has loaded it up for me. So I can choose how long it takes for each character to appear on screen and how long the message stays on screen. These are in milliseconds. Press save and that's going to set all them settings. Now inside the streamer bot, we need to select our trigger. So I'm going to do platforms, then go to Twitch and choose channel point redeem. And then I have a highlight message on screen. So I'm going to double click into that choose the action at the bottom again make sure it says user input required otherwise what's the point and then select the animate button and press ok once we do that we can jump back into obs and open our channel point redeems and we can do a test highlight message on screen hello there this is a cheeky message to test this and you'll see it'll type it out on screen looks pretty cool it's just a nice other way for your viewers to interact with your stream if you are running into any issues at all don't worry we have a discord server you can find the link in the file you downloaded or on the stream up website just join and search for the product in the different channels each product has its own forum this means you can search through the posts to see if someone else has had your issue and if not create a new post please be as accurate as possible and provide screenshots so we can actually help. If you like this product, then tell YouTube and press that like button. Also subscribe as there are tons more products on the way. Speaking of, check out this playlist full of stream up products. See you over there. Put your rug over the stone.